Huh? I said I know you just <laughs> Just a little bit. It's a few weeks since I talked to you. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's been nice. <laughs> So the coach talked about, uh, you know, y'all closed last week, and then this week he, mm-hmm. you know, uh, didn't go out the, you know, way he wanted to close. Mm-hmm. But what is what is the message to, you know, closing out games, making sure y'all do it, you know, week after week? Uh, I think it just goes back to the details, um, being able to h- handle the details in uh, high-intensity um, situations. Um we all know we didn't we didn't play our best football when it came down to it at the end, um, and and we got to play better. I mean, there's some situations where some you know some people went out and some people went down, but um, it's always a next man up mentality, and um, we have to continue to take that approach um, and just you know get better, get better in situations that win you or lose your games. You've been on teams that have closed out incredibly well. You've been on teams that haven't done that. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between a team that is able to close? I mean, you kind of answered yeah, it, but, what, sure. but what's the difference between a good closing out team and a bad close, and a team that can't do it? The details. Yeah. It's literally, Simple it's the that. details. Everybody doing their job when it matters the most. Everybody locked in on their job. Um, everybody has different jobs out there. It's 11 different jobs. Um, every, but everybody has to do their job at a high level for the defense to work the way that it's supposed to work. So, like I said, it just Everybody has to do their job. And when everybody does their job, and you look at the tape, when we did our job, we make it hard on teams. But when we don't do that, we make it easy on teams. The last few weeks, we haven't talked to you. The last few weeks, you've been out of the game, I think it's like the third series or yeah. fourth series. What's go- how do they approach that to you? And yeah. then what's really going on with that? Well, you know, I mean, I've been in that situation. I've been in a situation where, you know, I was the third safety and – in New England where Bill, you know, he wanted to get me in there because when you have a young team, um, you don't want, you know, their first rep or their first, you know, game live rep being when they didn't get any reps in the game. You got to build some type of game experience. And, you know, um, Hawk has done a great job all camp, you know, and he's earned the right to play. Um, So we're just trying to find ways to get him in there. Um, to, to build his game experience up so that if there's ever a situation with myself or, you know, Eric goes down, we have a guy who has game experience, who's not out there for the first time, who's not, you know, nervous because, you know, nerves do come into play. You know, you get into a game and, you know, you think you're just playing special teams and all of a sudden something happens and you're out there as to be a full-time starter, you know, like nerves come in. But when you already had the experience, you already been to it, you already made some plays out there. You already made the calls. Um, you made some tackles. Like, it puts you in the sense of um, comfort, knowing that you can go out there and you can do it at a high level as well. When, when you're, you're, you're D-line and, and Hawk out there, because we haven't really seen that combination yeah. yet, except for a few plays that yeah. What What role do you change? Does your role change, or does mm-hmm. he kind of slot into where Eric is? Uh, it, it depends. I mean, we could do it right or left. It just kind of depends on the game plan. You know, it depends on the game plan. Um, and each week is its own week. We still don't know the, the, the severity of, of what happened to, to, um, to uh, Isaiah, but seeing him go down after he'd really kind of found his groove, was sure. that a difficult thing? I saw there was a bunch of guys mm-hmm. all, all around him. When it yeah, definitely difficult. I mean, because, you know, Zay puts in a lot of work. He works hard. He comes here. He's here early. He stays late. Um, he does everything the right way, you know. He's a great teammate. Um, he stays at the practice just working on, you know, um, perfecting his craft. And, you know, like you said, a guy that's, that's coming into his own, getting more comfortable in that nickel roll, you know, made a big play for us last week um, with the forced fumble, you know, made some plays, getting his hands on the ball. Like, it's tough because that's just kind of what the sport is, you know. As much as you don't want to see it, but guys go down each and every year, and a lot of good players go down. And, you know, obviously he's in a situation where, you know, He's trying to show people that he can do this at a high level. So it just, I mean, it sucks, you know, it sucks because you know what he puts into it. But one thing I know about Zay, he's a fighter. He's going to, you know, he's going to approach whatever the extent of the injury is the right way. He's going to rehab it. He's going to do everything the right way. And he's going to come back stronger. How do you feel like this, this defense can better contain the quarterback? 
Uh, well, I think I think it takes all of us. You know, it's it's never just on the D line. It's never on just on you know the linebackers. It's, it's it's on everybody. It's on the complete the entire defense. You know, we have to be tighter. You know, in our uh, in our pass coverage, um, the rush lanes have to shrink some more. Um, we can't give the quarterback too many two way goes where he can run up the middle. Um, and we just got to be. Uh, eyes on the quarterback when we're supposed to have eyes on the quarterback. So when he's rushing, I mean, when he breaks through and running, you know, we can have a guy that's there, that's supposed to be there, and get him on the ground, not letting him get, you know, 20, 25 yards. Uh, Coach said that there were, you know, a couple, uh, you know, the ball didn't come out of the way. I dropped a couple uh, half pass pass breakups. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, those some of the things y'all were, you know, looking at in the film study. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, those are, you know, game, game changing plays. You just... Think about it, you know, we lost by, what, four? And, you know, if I make the interception grab, that's four points off the board right there, and we're tied 30 to 30. So, you know, that's something that, you know, I look at, you know, and that's something that I pride myself on, you know. I've been in this league long enough and, you know, made some plays with my hands on the ball, and when I get that opportunity, um, I usually make it. So that's a point where, like I said, everything, we all work together. It's a team defense. And when your your number is called, you have to make that play because all the other 10 guys are counting on you. So we're going to do stuff this week to make sure that when our number is called, we're going to make the play so that we can be the, the best defense that we can be. When you look at a guy like Richie Grant and drop it high, you were working with him all the time in camp mm -hmm. and yeah. then doesn't play. Yeah. What do you say to him at that point to kind of say, hey, listen, what, why, yeah, what do you just say yeah. to him? How do you talk to him? Uh, it's a journey. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a long journey. Um, there's plenty of guys, you know, who started their careers um, with not being a starter right away. Um, but what are you going to do to progress to when your time comes, you'll be fully prepared for that moment. So I just try to keep talking to him, keep working with him after practice. You know, he sits right behind me in the meeting. He's always asking questions. He's a smart, bright kid. And the future is really bright for him, but right now, um, he's still trying to um, perfect his role. And the coaches, they all give us roles each and every week. And I just think the faster that he embraces his role, um, the more uh, responsibilities he will get. So it's just, it's on him, you know. It's on him to keep getting better. It's on him to keep learning. Um, it's on him to keep learning from different situations so he can retain all this information in all these different situations so when his time comes, he'll be fully prepared. Do you kind of relay your own? Oh, without a doubt. I told him, like, I wasn't a full-time starter till you know, my eighth year in the season. You know, I started games and, you know, it was a part-time starter, but it's a journey, you know, and people who look at this as a journey and not just a right now moment, you know, they have long careers because they're always trying to get better. But if you're just looking at the now, you can – kind of get stuck in it now, and then you're not worrying about what the future is going to hold. Like, you don't want to be worried about the future, but you want to know this is a this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Like, don't always be so fixated where you are right now, but worry about where you're headed and what you can do to get to where you want to be, you know? In the concept of the journey, do you almost have to extrapolate that to just the entire team mm -hmm. in some ways because of where we all are, and yeah. both at the moment, and yeah. kind of new. Like, do you, sure. do you take that in a bigger macro sense? Too? Oh, you you have to, and that's you know one of the reasons why you know Terry and Art, you know, they brought me here for my leadership. And when times get tough, you know, you gonna run or you gonna fight, and I have to do everything in my power um, to make sure that we're there fighting each and every day, because it's hard. It's hard to win football games, especially in this league, and the only way that you can win games is you got to keep from losing. And right now, to be honest, we, we lost games, like, you know? So we got to get better so that we can win games. And you can only get that when the leadership is strong up top, you know, amongst, you know, obviously the players, but we have to push that message down to the younger players and everybody else so everybody can get on one accord and we can get this thing rolling. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it starts on Wednesday, you know. We got to make sure that the energy is right when we come here on Wednesday. Um, 
obviously we got a long trip to London, but I mean, we have a great opportunity um, to go out, you know, face a team that's, you know, they've been fighting adversity as well. Um, they just got to win against a, you know, a good team. So they're going to be feeling good. So, I mean, it's going to be adversity staring you in the face. I mean, what you going to do? Um, and the thing is, I just love the leadership of this group. And I know, you know, Matt, Grady, Dion, you know, Red, um, Jake, you know, Eric, those guys are going to be ready to go, you know? And we just got to make sure that our feeling and our um, emotion is spun throughout the team so that everybody is feeling the same way. And we can get the work that we need and the practice that we need so that we can have a great week of preparation and then go out there and win a football game in London on Sunday. How has that energy been so far on Wednesday? It's been good. It's been good energy. You know, I would never say, you know, we had bad energy out there, but I just think we can take it up a notch and we got to take it up a notch. I think the urgency has to, to rise because at the end of the day, everybody keeps saying, you know, we got time, you got time, you got an extra game this year, you know, you got 13 games left, but the more you keep saying, the more you got time, you're just holding it off. And, and the time is now. And I'm going to make sure I do my part as a leader on this football team to make sure that the urgency level is as high as it's ever been here and just try to do everything we can to get a win this week. You watched last night? <laughs> you know I did. <laughs> you know I did. It's, it's crazy in there. It was crazy. Good game, though. Good game. It was a good game. All right, guys. All right, no problem.